Welcome to the BetQL Daily Boost. I'm Lucy Burge of BetQL.com, and I am joined by Dan Carpuck and Matt Horner, and we've got an NBA odds boost for all of you today on Steph Curry and Clay Thompson to each have over 24 and a half points in the Warriors Kings game six, boosted to plus 150 at Caesars. Steph Curry has hit this over in his last six games, and Clay Thompson hit this over with 26 in game four. So I love the value here in both of them to hit this over tonight. Yeah, we know the Warriors in their road struggles, but this is game six. They have the opportunity to clinch and move on to the next round on their home floor tonight. And uh, I think I've heard of these guys, Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, before. I think Maybe. they're probably going to show up in this game tonight. And getting them at plus money just makes a lot of sense. This is one of these moments where, you know, as someone who oftentimes looks at analytics and all these, it goes above and beyond and a little insane on, on some of these uh, player props. This is just a situation where we want to just think, like, these guys are two of the best shooters of all time. Their team needs them tonight to step up and deliver. And I think they're going to do just that. So let's not overthink it. Yeah, exactly. I'm the same way. I just think there's so much value in this. It's, it's all about the value for me. I mean, Curry has gone over 24 and a half in every single game this series. He's averaging 31.4 points in the series. So that's the no-brainer pick of these. Thompson is the one you worry about more. He's He has gone over this in his last two games. He's averaging 21.2 this series. Uh, but like you said, this is a pivotal game. They're going to need these two to step up. And uh, overall, I just think it's great value at the number. Yes, as Bare Naked Ladies said in their smash hit one week, we are all about value. So we love this odds boost at plus 150 at Caesars. Get in on that and then go listen to that song because now it's going to be stuck in my head all day and get up to $1,000 in bonus bets on your first wager at BetMGM by entering code Lucy1000 when you sign up for a new BetMGM account now and head to betql.com and get your free three-day trial today and check out our exclusive sports book offers there as well. And of course, follow us on Twitter at Daniel Carbook <laughs> at Matt underscore. Lots Warner of tasks for our listeners to do right now. We, huh? could, I mean, we yes. can put a listener. <laughs> go to BetQL, use code Lucy1000, number two, go to betql.com, <laughs> three, follow us on Twitter. So yes, at Daniel Garbug at Matt underscore. Do all of these things quickly. <laughs> Do all of this. Follow Matt on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter at Lucille Burge. And then now listen to our best bets. So I, my favorite bet today is Bruins money line. No, the, the Bruins be. money line. It's the Bruins. Be. I mean, this is playoff hockey. And as we know, there is nothing like playoff hockey. And the Bruins, the best NHL team in the history of the NHL, are going for to move to the next round. And I'm just scared. I'm scared and I'm nervous because this <laughs> Bruins team is kind of, they're going to blow it, but no, they're not going to blow it. Bruins money line against the Panthers. They're going to close out this series right here. And I'm looking forward to this because when the Bruins and Celtics are in the playoffs and the Red Sox game is going on, I will be at the Red Sox game tonight. And I'm hoping they will do a yep. little split screen thing up on the jumbotron of the Bruins, maybe winning this game during the Red Sox game. I always think that's really cool. So hopefully that will happen. And the Bruins are 12 and 0 when playing against a marginal winning team with a winning percentage of 51% to 60% while on the road this season. That is a BetQL trend in their favor. So I like the Bruins money line. Well, while I recover from the shock of Lucy picking a Boston team to win, um, I'm going to talk about Kevon Looney. Uh, over 16 and a half rebounds plus assists. I got this at minus 115 at Caesars at the best price. It was not much of a shock when Looney crushed in game three when Draymond Green was suspended. But when Draymond came back, he volunteered to come off the bench. And that's allowed Looney to really eat here in the starting lineup. He put up four points, 20 rebounds, and nine assists in that game without Draymond. But since Draymond came back, Looney has still kept up the production on the glass and as a facilitator. 14 rebounds and six assists in game four. 22 rebounds and seven assists last time out. He's dominating in both uh, in, in both uh, categories there. And the Warriors have also won all three games in which he did so. So I think that kind of speaks volumes and is a good predictor of what's going to happen again tonight. Looney's average 24.5 rebounding chances in eight potential assists 
over the last two games. And he's also passed the ball. This is what kind of uh, skewed me in this in, in, in the favor of this bet. He's passed the ball 58 total times per game, which ranks third on his team, right behind Steph Curry at 61.5. So 58 versus 61.5 and Draymond at 60. So there's no reason to assume that he shouldn't play the same exact role in this one. He's proven that he could fly over this. He could even get over this in rebounds alone as he's done in this series. So uh, over 16 and a half rebounds plus assists for Mr. Looney tonight. Dan, you know I want to nuke that, but I'm not going to nuke it because <laughs> then it'll lose. <laughs> but uh, literally, I so Lucy gives you NHL, Dan goes to the NBA. I'm going to go to MLB. Uh, I know yesterday the White Sox absolutely let me down in a huge way. Uh, but today I'm going to go with the Yankees on the money line, plus 185 on points bet right now, which I just think is, again, we're going to go back to the term value here. I just think that's crazy value for the Yankees lineup. I know they're going up against DeGrom and Schmidt's on the mound for them, and he has sh struggled quite a bit. Uh, but even against DeGrom, I mean, look, the Rangers just got swept by the Reds, and they just lost their last game to the Yankees. So they've lost four straight games, and the Yankees lineup is just – so I mean, they just have so many stars. Plus 185 is just yeah. insane to me. I don't even care if it's against the Grom. So I'm going to take a shot with the Yankees at that incredible number against the Rangers. I might even get in on that, Matt. That is great value there. The full of value yeah. today. We've got the odds boost at plus 150. Hop on that and these bets and subscribe to the BetQL Daily Boost wherever you get your podcasts.